Hello guys, this is Abcorp, back with some more Final Fantasy Ever Crisis content. And I do want to talk about this stat as it has become more important, though I think people in the community have downplayed it. So what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about physical defense. Why do I think physical defense is being downplayed? Because we actually need it in content? I'll even show you. I have struggled with this boss for quite some time because simply put I just don't have the physical defense to tank Iron Giant at this point I am going to do a little better because I have been building them but I think one of the components that we overlooked was physical defense so what is physical defense basically is your defense versus physical attacks right so why is this that important and why do people think this stat's not important so let's look at the weapons for a second there's only five weapons that you really really need to look at and out of those five there are two weapons that are absolutely important for physical defensive sets so we'll go through three of them that are important and then we'll go through through the last two it's obvious what the last two are but i am always a fan of the dramatic so let's get started piece of cake piece of cake is important for a couple of reasons first of all it boosts your physical defense which is good but it also boosts your ice resistance with any defensive stat that you build in this game you either want to pair it with HP or you want to pair it with a resistant stat. So a piece of cake is perfect for that because we will start seeing enemies that produce physical ice attacks. So this weapon is optimal for that. And as for Glenn, it allows him to break defense by two stages, which is really good. Mid potency, two stages. So this is an absolutely phenomenal weapon for defensive builds. So, of course, Red 13, the star of tanking, period, also has a weapon that's really good. Junk Collar. Junk Collar is good because not only does it boost your physical defense, but it also boosts your fire resistance. And I kind of feel bad now that I didn't really build these weapons because I didn't value them at first. So now I'm hurting. But, of course... Frizzy Fay actually reduces your magic attack potency mid. So this is really good. For some reason, they give the defensive stat to debuffing weapons. Don't know why that is. Maybe it's because it's supposed to be defensive. But you'll see the next weapon does the same thing. It's really weird. But this weapon is optimal for when we get fire damaged physical this will be an optimum weapon so i'm going to build it and the support material is kind of meh much like piece of cake the support material is kind of meh so the last of the three we'll talk about is leather gloves for some reason they keep giving this chick the goods they give her everything she could ever want and that upsets me because like anyway let's move on so, Omni Strike is an incredible skill that is perfect for the current boss that we're dealing with because not only does it deal damage, but it also reduces the physical attack by two stages. This is this is this is insane because I tried to use Cloud's weapon, which is another weapon in this set, but it only reduces physical attack by one stage. I didn't know that. But this is two stages, which is incredible. And not only that, you get boost physical defense and you get boost lightning resistance. So when we get those enemies that actually deal physical lightning damage, this will be an optimum weapon. Like I said, the support material is kind of meh, but it shocks me that they gave her attack boost fire. That's, that's really good. This weapon is super clutch. I can't state to you how great this weapon is. This is... Yeah, they gave her everything she could ever want, and it's so annoying. But this is the weapon I was talking about for Cloud, which I did build. 
But Blast Wave only does one stage, so it's not that great. And Physical Defense compounded with Boost Crit Potential, not as great. With these weapons, you actually want them to be like this, where you boost your Physical Defense and you get a Resistance versus an Element, which is pretty good. So the last two, obviously, are the Sephiroth weapons, Tor and Wing. So we'll talk about Tor and Wing. The reason why these weapons are so optimum, not only are you getting the physical defense boost that you want, but you're getting the boost attack that you kind of need in order to do offense. And I found that having these weapons on my character allowed me to get Iron Giant actually down to red. So if I complete this, it'll be because of these weapons. Not only that, if you main hand them, you get Solid Barrier, which actually increases physical defense even more which is potency mid which is super important so i don't want you to overlook these weapons because they're actually really good i didn't think they were good at first but i have been proven wrong so they are really good and the support material is actually really good too because you get heal ability potential plus 20 percent. that's that's really good so let's go to barrett barrett basically gets the same thing Physical defense is increased, potency mid, and you get boost attack and physical defense. So I'm trying to see if I can do this with Barrett. So this this will be the weapon that he carries. But this is gay. <laughs> it's cucked him. Why oh, they cucked him? Uh, you know, the Barrett hate is real, man. Can he get the exact same weapon as? Come on, man. You could have gave him heal boost. Heal boost is more important in a defensive set like this. This is bull crap. What are you going to do with magic attack? So stupid. <laughs> but yeah, those are the... <laughs> yeah, that's, those are the three best weapons... Five best weapons for physical defense. Um, This is okay. But like I said, you got boost limit break protection. It's all right. If this is all right. You got boost crit potential. Eh, kind of meh. Boost ability potential is probably good, but the, the, those are the top five. So, why do people think that physical defense is not important when it really is important? Well, I'll show you with my party. So, let's go to Barrett himself. And as you can see, the average physical defense on any character is about 100. The stat itself is very low, and I think this was a mistake by the devs. If you were to knock this up to like 150 or 160, then it will be even more serviceable of a stat. But you still have to build it because even though 300 and 400 points of damage mitigation may seem small, but in these battles that we've been facing, they have been critical. So... This costume in itself is actually solid because you actually get boost HP and boost physical defense. So, Barrett is able to survive, but other characters don't. And I got to find a way to keep them alive. And I got to find a way to get his physical attack up. But for the most part, you can't overlook physical defense as a stat anymore because I think in the next piece of content, in the next video that I'm going to talk about, we're going to find out that Magic Deepest is going to be an important stat too. But anyways, if you like my content, hit the like, share, subscribe button. I'll get back to you. Have a great day and goodbye.